blends and vowel sounds. A word can have many different parts. Blends and vowel sounds are parts of words. Words can have long vowel sounds or short vowel sounds. Knowing these different parts will help us read and understand words better. There are many different blends or clusters in words. Look at the word cluster, for example. The pair of letters CL is a blend and is pronounced as K. The pair of letters ST is also a blend and it is pronounced as ST. When you say the whole word cluster, you can hear both K and ST in it. Here is a list of other blends that many words can have. Can you think of words that have some of these blends? Look at these sentences and see if you can find the words with the blends in them. Who put the blocks in the crib? The word blocks has a blend in it. It has the blend of BL, which you can hear when you say the word blocks. Also, the word crib has the blend of CR, and you can hear it when you say the word crib. Try to find the blend in the following sentence. She is trying to write with a straw. The blends are TR in trying, WR in write, and ST in straw. Here is another sentence. Small grapes make a great snack. The blends are SM in small, GR in grapes, GR in great, and SN in snack. Here is another sentence. The squash will sprout pretty soon. SQU in squash is a blend, SPR in sprout is a blend, and PR in pretty is a blend also. Finally, try to find the blends in this sentence. Please draw 20 smiley faces for craft time. The blends are PL in please, DR in draw, TW in 20, SM in smiley, and CR in craft. Words can have short vowel sounds or long vowel sounds. When the word has one vowel, either A, E, I, O, or U, the short vowel sound is usually said. Let me give you an example. The word tap has the letter T, the letter A, and the letter P. We say tap, but each letter makes this sound, t, a, p. The short a sound is a in this word. Another example is the word pet. The word pet is spelled p, e, t, but we say p, e, t. The short e sound E is said in this word. Another word with a short vowel sound is fin. Fin is spelled F I N, but each letter is pronounced F E N. The short I sound E is said in the word fin. Another example is mop. Mop is spelled M O P. The letters in the word mop make these sounds. M, A, P. The short O sound, A, is said in the word mop. Lastly, the word hug also has a short vowel sound. It is spelled H U G, but the letters are pronounced H, A, G. The short U sound is pronounced U uh in the word hug. The short vowel sounds are A for the letter A, E for the letter E, I for the letter I, A for the letter O, 
and U uh for the letter U. We can make long vowel sounds in words by adding an E at the end of the word. Remember this rule. The first vowel does the talking, the second vowel does the walking. This means that we only hear the first vowel sound, and the second is silent. We can change all the words that we just covered with short vowel sounds to words with long vowel sounds by just adding an E at the end. Let's do that and see how it sounds. If we add an E to the end of the word tap, we would pronounce it tape. The letters make these sounds. A, P. We don't pronounce the E at the end of the word tape. All the E does is change the way that we pronounce the A in the word. Let's try another one. If we add an E to the end of the word pet, we get the word peat. The letters would be pronounced P, E, T. E is the long vowel sound of the letter E. Again, we don't pronounce the last E. All the E does is change the way we pronounce the first E. Now let's try the same thing with the word fin. If we add an E to the end of the word fin, we get the word fine. The way we pronounce each letter in the word is f, i, n. The E that we added to the end of the word changed the way we pronounce the I. I is the long vowel sound of the letter I. Let's try another one. If we add an E to the end of the word mop, we would get the word mope. Each letter in the word mope is pronounced m, o, We don't pronounce the E at the end, we only change the way that we pronounce the O. O is the long vowel sound for the vowel O. Let's try one more. If we add an E to the end of the word hug, we would get the word huge. The way that you pronounce each letter in the word is H, U, J. Again, we don't pronounce the E at the end. All the E does is change the way that we pronounce the U from the short vowel sound of hug to the long vowel sound of huge. The long vowel sounds are A for the letter A, E for the letter E, I for the letter I, O for the letter O, and U for the letter U.